Hi, this is Don McAllister and welcome to another weekly tip video. Now there are plenty of cloud services available from Dropbox, Google Drive, Box and many, many more. These cloud-based services tend to have two major disadvantages for many people. Cost and privacy. In my case, cost is a huge factor as we have a team account on Dropbox and it costs me hundreds of pounds each year. But for many people, privacy is the biggest factor and hate having to rely on shared infrastructure to host private files. Back in 2017, I did a number of shows using a Synology NAS or Network Attached Storage device, but at the time, creating your own cloud service was a muddle of different apps and services. Now, recently, Synology has released Synology Drive, a new app that provides sync and backup to your own dedicated NAS with web based, desktop, and mobile clients to access your data. So in this week's tip video, I'm going to demonstrate setting up and using Synology Drive to sync and backup files on my Mac to my local Synology NAS. Now obviously this will only work if you already have a Synology NAS. Uh, check out the shows I did back in 2017 to get a better understanding of the things you can do. Uh, this is my Synology. This is the Synology disk station that I've logged into. Um, it's the same machine I demonstrated back in 2017. I use it for several things now. I use it for my Plex server. I use it for uh, capturing a video from my home security cameras. And I'm now going to set it up as my sort of Dropbox replacement. Now, to get access to Synology Drive, you do have to have a certain version of what's called the DSM. And the current DSM is 6.2.2. I think it was released within DSM 6, so anything above that should be fine. Now, there are some additional applications I've been reading about recently, which is uh, Synology Office and Synology Moments. Uh, Office for, uh, well, Office applications and Moments for Photos. Perhaps we'll take a look at those at a later date. But I want to go across to Package Center and the application I want is Synology Drive. So if I just type in Drive, and here we have Synology Drive Server. So I'm just gonna go ahead and install that. It will prompt me to install some other things as well, or it will do it by itself. Node.js and Synology Application Service. I'll say yes, and that's downloading and installing. Now, while it's installing, uh, this is currently located, uh, well, next to my TV, actually, but it is accessible via the internet using Synology Quick Connect. Again, that's explained in the previous shows that I did. So we'll uh, just leave this and we'll come back to it once everything has installed. Okay, that has now installed. Uh, if I go across to my applications, you'll see three new applications, Synology Drive Admin Console, that only appears when you're the admin user, Synology Drive itself, and Synology Drive Share Sync. That allows you to synchronize between different Synologies. Now, before I open it up, I'm gonna go into my user panel first. I'm gonna set up a user to use this. So if I go to Control Panel, User, uh, here is Don, which is just a normal user. I'm currently logged in as the admin user, but I'm just gonna set it up as a normal user. So if I say Edit, and then go to Permissions. Okay, that's all fine. If I go to Applications, you'll see there is now a Synology Drive application. So Don can also use Surveillance Station, which is the uh, video recording from cameras. If I select that, I'm going to allow him access to Synology Drive, and we'll say OK. And that's ready to go. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.